Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Chiang Mai. So I wanted to vlog our final few days in the city just because we were here for just over two weeks. As usual, I really hope you guys enjoy watching the video. Definitely like it if you do, subscribe if you're new and we'll dive straight into the video. Good. Is it morning? No, it's uh, 12 p.m. Okay, great Good start to the vlog. <laughs> Good afternoon from Thailand. We're still in Chiang Mai. OOTD, I've got my yellow shorts on, the bucket hat, which I've literally been wearing every single day outside. You're wearing your classic, <laughs> classic grey t-shirt. and Oh, and the navy shorts today. Yep. I love the orange stops. shorts. Our grab is here. We're going to lunch. Classic MJ lunch. And then we've got some like uh, shopping kind of things to do, so... I'll show you guys that I'm going to talk to you about our dilemma right now. But anyway, grab is here. In Chiang Mai, you can get Bolt and Grab taxis. The good things about Bolt are that it's cheaper basically, but you pay cash and like there aren't many drivers, so you might have to wait longer. We just got a Grab now because it's like a bit pricier, but you pay by card and it's faster like the drivers come to you in a shorter period of time i don't know why that took me so long to say <laughs> uh, grab pays the drivers more. yeah grab pays the drivers more that's why it's more expensive but chiang mai is quite congested anyway as a city like the traffic lights take honestly ages um but it's just a joke sometimes anyway we're back in maya maya having mj and then we're gonna do shopping as i said um Oh, my favorite song! They're playing my favorite song again. No, no. This song is always, always on. <laughs> Sorry, I electrocuted you. Did you? Not I think you so. Yourself. Oh, did I did that. He has a new item. These like veggie nuggets. So we've tried those. And then we've kind of got the usual. We also really like the mushrooms though. These are shiitake mushrooms. I honestly love them. I kind of wanted to get them today. You wanted to get yeah, them? Yeah, but I thought I got Nuggets you can have some of mine if you want. And then this is uh, the classic staples. If you've watched any of my previous Chiang Mai videos, then you'll know we literally went to MJ every day for lunch. It can also be fairly difficult to find vegan snacks in Thailand, but we found these chia chew bars, which were actually really good. And then as I said, after that, we were just doing some shopping, which is kind of unlike us, but we needed to get a few things. And I also wanted to go and get some new headphones for the marathon that we'd be running in Phuket and also just running in general and maybe even swimming. We are going to our local 7-Eleven to get a snack because uh, we've currently hit rock bottom in terms of energy levels. Die and I. He just like takes it out of you. We spent the last like 90 minutes trying to decide um, <laughs> oh, we were gonna go to Singapore. Yeah, that was our dilemma, which I'm gonna explain, but basically, long story short, we're not gonna go anymore. Well, on this trip, we'll go at some point, yeah. just not right now. Anyway, it's Sunday! This is our highway road. Whoa. And this little gap in the fence is like perfectly made for us to squeeze through to get to 7 Eleven. Whoa. Oh, ready? Cross, cross, cross. Ooh, ooh. I have blisters all over my feet, by the way. It's so bad. As I said, our dilemma was whether or not we went to Singapore on this trip. So the original plan was just to visit Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam. But we had this spontaneous idea to perhaps visit Singapore, which is such a cool city and we'd maybe go there for like just over a week or 10 days. You guys also know how indecisive I am and this decision took us such a long time. We were thinking about it for like a good week. But as I said, our final decision was to not visit Singapore and probably leave it for next year. And later that evening anyway, we were just walking around around the old town we walked to the other side so the south side of the Chiang Mai square and then we also wanted to try a new place for our dinner. We're in a place called Vegan Heaven um, which I was going to maybe try last time I was in Chiang Mai but I didn't 
I like walk past it. I got like rice and tempeh spring rolls and stuff. We got a curry and um, we also just walked around the whole town. So it did have a pretty big menu and I'm not gonna lie, I did think it was gonna be a lot better than it actually was. But you guys know me, I'm happy with food and I will be doing the same for Bangkok and Pai in Chiang Mai. So I'll be ranking and rating all of the different vegan places that we tried. So that will be a short video. Make sure you guys are watching those as well just because I'm really getting into those and you'll be able to follow along the vlogs as well. The plan was to try and find elephant. Uh, uh, I cannot speak. The plan was to try and find elephant trousers for Angelo, but we didn't find any. And the night markets in the evening are mostly just filled with food. But um, yeah, we just got back now. We went to Tops, our usual grocery run. Honestly, the blisters on my feet are like so painful. We were trying to find some tape to put on tomorrow because we are doing a very big run tomorrow morning. We are running all the way up to Doi Suthep, which is the biggest, I want to say. The main temple in Chiang Mai is beautiful, um, but it's just up a very steep hill and we're trying to run up it. But yeah, we went to the market, which is on the south side of the Chiang Mai Square. I don't know if it has an official name, but we got three mangoes, three mangoes for 25 baht, which is so good. These three, beautiful. Look at them. I'm going to cut them up now. Um, they smell very good, very ripe. We were trying to get more of these bananas from Tops. They are called like Namwa bananas, but they didn't have any. And literally like, they're my favorite things. Second to mangoes. We had some very good grapefruit today. Um, fruit wise, we also had um, pineapple. The pineapples here are very good, like the mini pineapples. I'm just in fruit heaven. I am so excited to cut into these. <laughs> I won't eat it without you, don't worry. I'm just cutting into them. Oh, oh my gosh, they're gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, this. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, I know you're coming. Oh my gosh, they are stunning. Wow, look at you, girl. Look at them. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Look at them. I can confirm these mangoes were honestly amazing. And then the next day we woke up pretty early so we could get a bolt to the base of the Doi Suthep climb. So you can take an actual proper hiking route, but we decided to run up the road. The adventure begins. Are you scared? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, I'm scared. This is gonna be so hard. This is the start. Uphill from now. My legs are so dead this morning. Like literally, I couldn't even get going. I'm still struggling right now, but I'm just going really slow, like super slowly because like my body just, my body just doesn't want to move. I think I have doms from like the 30k on Sunday, like really badly. And starting on an uphill, it's just not nice. Like a constant uphill. This isn't even a steep part. This is flat and I'm struggling. My heart rate monitor is chasing me again. So all in all, I do not feel good. But forwards is a pace. So I'm trying, like really trying my best. We are hollow. Now on a flat road and when you don't feel tired, that distance would not feel too difficult at all. But we were walking a bit and then running a bit just because my legs felt so tired and it was just a constant uphill you guys, like it just did not end. But we did eventually make it to the very top of Doi Suthep and then we got some fresh orange juice from the market stalls up there and then decided to go up to the temple. <laughs>
We didn't go in the temple because I can't get in with my bare shoulders and you pay 30 baht but you know you can walk around the outside. The views are pretty good. Um, pretty good. The views are absolutely yeah. <laughs> stunning. Okay I'm not selling it. The views are amazing. Also um, I had to take an emergency toilet trip because uh, <laughs> uh, yeah let's just say it's that time of the month you guys so uh, it's kind of a bit of a mess <laughs> it's all fine like sometimes you just have emergencies um, and you gotta do what you gotta do but anyway it's fine and we're almost at the bottom of the steps if you do want to go up to doi Suthep, then you can just get a taxi or a boat up there but we got smoothies before we went down and running down was a lot easier i mean you are pounding on your legs and your knees a bit and it was also really sunny so it was easier but still not very easy right um it is the afternoon on our second to last day in thailand no <laughs> chiang mai second to last day in chiang mai tomorrow is our is last it? day yeah no, it's not. It is. Uh, isn't it? We leave Chiang Mai next week. What are you talking about? Shut up. By the way, I would show you guys. I was going to show you guys yesterday, but it never happened. Um, and I bought more stuff today. Um, so I thought I would do a little mini haul. I don't normally buy that much. That's why you don't really see hauls on my channel. Um, but you know, the first thing is uh, Vaseline. So I said in my last video, that the chafing went down here where my heart rate monitor sits but it's come back again i have so many blisters on my feet so we found where's this surgical tape we bought energy gels from the running shop called the highland now or something which is uh, literally down the road and we're gonna try these tomorrow but we got two to try and then we'll decide which ones we're gonna get for phuket marathon these ones are fruit ones you got a lychee one and the final thing the most exciting thing in the hall they are shocks open swims i have clearly paid for them sure. i obviously use my yeah. airpods um but they don't last very long both years i've run london marathon they've run out so these are bone conduction <coughs> headphones and they also don't rely on bluetooth these are the open swims so i could take them swimming with me which is so fun you know mm. you're a runner when your headphones are running out of battery before you do i know literally i paid uh 125 or something or 129 um which is apparently it's cheaper right oh uh, well yeah i bought mine for 160 in the uk exactly so a bit cheaper in thailand um, you can get them cheaper on ebay but yeah i got them from uh, power buy in thailand you have to like preload song song because they're non-bluetooth as i said that's gonna be me you know should i open them when i normally buy stuff i never normally open it i just sit there waiting why do you do that i don't know You're right there. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Wait, hang on, it is actually. It's quite hard, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. If you got big hands like me, then it's easier. There we go. Thank you. <gasps> Look at them. Beautiful. They sit like this. They give you sideburns. Look at that. Yeah, they look cool. You're like a professional athlete. Running, 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 running. Running, running, running. Running from myself. Running, 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 running from myself. <laughs> um, I'm ready to take it off. Look at those uh, burks and socks. We yeah. love it. <laughs> so this was the running shop that I mentioned. It was literally down the road from our accommodation and it was just like a running shop. It sold everything from trainers to running gels, which we got. So it had a pretty good selection. And then after that, we decided to go to the gym. So we found one close by called Pump Fitness. And so we just decided to try it out. It was very cramped and crowded inside, but there were loads of machines. And so we just went there for about an hour. And um, yeah, this is basically what we got up to the whole time. I'm playing around with this new machine. <laughs> Holly, I'm serious. Not looking at the camera. Not looking, looking fun. Wait, I'm gonna have to wait. Yeah, Looking good. Yeah, looking good. Go on, swing. Sweet potato can do it. 
I have never seen one of those machines in my life, but it was actually really fun and I think it was supposed to train your abs and your obliques. But after that, we then did our usual shop in our local supermarket, which is Tops, and then we made dinner and there was actually a really big storm that evening, so the rain came chucking it down the road. Rain drops falling on my head. So in our accommodation where we were staying, which was called the Grand Weaponin, and I showed you guys around in my last Chiang Mai video, so I'll leave that linked down below, but there was basically a swimming pool and then a gym, and I've also decided to take it upon myself to try and help Angelo teach him how to swim. Now, I am definitely not a swimming instructor, but my dad has told me that I need to teach him how to float first of all, and then we can make progress after that. Basically, you've never swam in your life, so I was trying to teach you how to swim. Oh, you're so scared. <laughs> you did so good though. We haven't actually come to the pool yet, but it has a gym as well here. So we're gonna come here this evening as well. We have a nice bougie shower. Ooh, it's actually really nice. Yesterday I didn't say, but like I couldn't do a pull up. I haven't done them in ages. You have to keep doing them if you want to be able to do pull-ups. There's a piano. There's a piano. Oh, there's also a there's a, a piano, tennis. yeah. A table tennis table as well. So cool. You guys, this is our last MJ experience. We definitely made a friend though. We got most of the favourites on the plate. And then the second plate, these things. I think I I think it was this video where I showed them these nuggets. They oh my god. Time, yeah, they're yeah. like uh, balls this time. Oh, so good. As I also said in my last Chiang Mai video, we kind of made friends with the owner of MJ just because we saw him pretty much every day because we went there for lunch. And he was so, so nice on the last day. He came over to us and gave us some of the stuff that we hadn't tried and some of the stuff that we loved for free just to take away with us. <laughs> He's such a good friend. Look what he just brought us. He brought us like stuff to have. He's over there somewhere. He just ran over. Oh my god. We haven't tried these. We haven't tried these. We try them. What else did he give us? That tofu. He gave us the tofu. This tofu is so good. It's like, it's amazing. They're crackers. They're crackers. Ooh, that mm. crunch. Oh, they're like uh, porn crackers. Oh, really? Yeah. Mmm. Very good. Mmm, they're really good. Oh. Aren't they like soy, I think? Soy crackling. Soy crackers. Mmm, personal favorite. Well, both of us. You think this is our favorite? The sausage? Yeah, definitely. Our favorite is definitely the sausage. It's so good. 
Now, leaving Chiang Mai was actually really sad just because we'd been there for two weeks. We had our daily routine and it was just so much fun living in the city with the mountains. It's honestly such a cool place to visit. Chiang Mai was probably my favorite place that my brother and I visited last year and I'm not sure what will be my favorite this year, but it's definitely gonna be near the top of my list somewhere. Now, my next vlog in this series will be from Phuket because that is our next destination. And this is where we will be running the 42.2 kilometers. That is the Phuket Marathon in the heat of Thailand and the humidity. So definitely make sure you guys like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming vlogs, my shorts, and I'll speak to you as always very soon in another video. Bye guys! Good. Why are you steaming up? Green tears. Oh, oh my god. We're going down. We're going down. We're going down. We're da 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 da. Hmm. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're getting a nut of him, Dad. Not bad. What the fuck?